blog Angela Marie made and today I'm going to be sharing 10 favorite wood stain colors. When it comes to picking out a wood stain color to use for your project, it can be really overwhelming to choose from all the different stain options that are available on the market. I thought it would be helpful to round up 10 favorite wood stain colors and show samples of what they look like on actual real wood. I picked these 10 favorite wood stain samples based on my favorite stain colors and my readers favorite stain colors based on a poll that I did as well as just what I see that's popularly used a lot online. These stain colors are all really easy to find at both your local home improvement store and online. Also, they're all oil-based stains because those are really affordable, easy to find, and commonly used. The stain color samples used in this video were all tested out on pine wood because pine is really commonly used. Do keep in mind though that you should always test out your stain on your wood that you're actually using for your project because stain can always turn out a little bit different on different types and species of wood. So that's why it's just really important to test your stain out in a small section of your project before you apply it to the whole project. Also, if you need tips on how to stain wood to get a beautiful wood finish, check out my tutorial on how to stain wood, which is linked below. For each of the sample wood boards that I used to test these stain colors out on, I applied a pre-stained wood conditioner on them to avoid any blotchiness or streakiness that can occur in the staining process. Apply the pre-stained wood conditioner with a lint-free rag. I will link below the pre-stained conditioner that I'm using. Also, before using the stain, it's really important to stir them well. I like to use a large popsicle stick to stir them. Most of the Varathene stain colors have a lot of pigmentation that sits at the bottom of the can, so those are extra important to stir a little bit longer and really make sure that they are mixed well. For each stain sample, I wiped on the first coat of stain onto each board and then I wiped away any excess stain with a lint-free rag. After I applied the first coat of stain for each different color, I let everything dry for a few hours. After the first coat of stain dried, I applied a second coat of stain to really get the best sense of what each stain color looks like. The first favorite wood stain color is Dark Walnut by Minwax. Minwax Dark Walnut was the first stain color that I fell in love with when I first started woodworking. It's the perfect medium dark wood stain with golden highlights that show through the wood grain. I think it looks even better when it's finished with an oil-based polyurethane, which really enhances the dark walnut color and the grain of the wood. Here is a photo of my first DIY farm table where I used dark walnut. We also used a polyurethane on it, which really enhanced the color nicely. The next favorite wood stain color is Provincial by Minwax. One of my top favorite stain colors is Provincial. I've used it a lot. I think it's the perfect classic wood stain. It's not too light or too dark, and it has a golden honey hue to it that is really beautiful. It's always my go-to color when I need a wood tone color that will go with almost any design plan that I have. I used Provincial for all of the wood elements in my recent kitchen makeover, including our hood range cover and floating shelves. I've also used it on several other projects, including my DIY floating table, DIY floating shelf, and DIY side table. 
Sting color number three is Special Walnut by Minwax. Special Walnut is a lighter brown walnut color. I find it to be very similar to Early American, but with more muted brown tones and no red tones. I've seen it used on flooring and it's a very versatile stain color. Stain color number four is English Chestnut by Minwax. If there's one stain color that truly sounds like the name of it, I think it's Minwax English Chestnut. It really looks like a chestnut color to me. It's another one of my favorite stain colors and I absolutely love using it on cedar wood. It enhances the cedar wood grain dramatically. Here's a look at what the English chestnut looks like on cedar wood, which was used for our DIY vertical planter stand. Stain color number five is Jacobean by Minwax. Minwax Jacobean is a rich dark brown color. It's similar to dark walnut, but a bit darker, and the golden green hues are more subtle and a bit more light brown toned. Jacobean is a beautiful rustic color that reminds me of cabin colors. Stain color number six is Early American by Minwax. Early American has a more faded sun look to it, which gives it a light weathered vibe. It has a hint of red in the color, and it's another classic brown that you really can't go wrong with. I used Minwax Early American on our DIY bathroom vanity, and I love how it turned out. Stain color number seven is Ebony by Minwax. If you want a bit of a black and brown stain color, Minwax Ebony is a good choice. This was my first time using Ebony, and it was a reader favorite. It reminds me of a tree bark color with the dark tones, and it's definitely one of the darkest stain color favorites. Stain number eight is Varathane's Honey Maple. Honey Maple is the lightest stain color in this roundup. Even though this stain is advertised as a one coat stain, I actually used two coats on this sample to get a really good idea of what the stain color looks like. It's a nice natural wood looking stain that deepens the natural green colors of the wood. It does kind of look like a coat of light honey was applied to it. Stain number nine is Briar Smoke by Varathane. One of the most popular wood stain colors I found was this Briar Smoke stain. And I can see why. It's a nice mix of rustic browns and hints of smoky gray with a few light highlights peeking through. I'm already thinking of my next project that I could use with it. Stain number 10 is Kona by Varathane. This was my first time using Kona, and I really like the color. It's a very subdued, earthy brown tone with less golden highlights than some of the similar Minwax colors. Well, I hope this roundup of 10 favorite wood stain colors has been helpful for you and helps with the stain picking process for your next project. If you'd like a stain color chart of these 10 wood stain colors, I have one available on my website for easy pinning, so you can just pin it to Pinterest and save it for later when you need to come back and reference it. Also, if you're interested in a weathered wood finish for your wood project, I have a how to create a weather wood gray finish video tutorial, which is linked below as well. And I also have an ebook on weathered wood finishes, which includes 11 different weather wood finish tutorials as well as information on how to prepare and protect your wood surface for whether wood finishes or really any type of wood stain. Let me know if you have any questions below or let me know if there is a favorite wood stain color of yours that I didn't mention in this roundup. I'd love to hear what your favorite stain color is. Thank you again for watching and please subscribe for more DIY and decor videos.